Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to share seven tips to grow lots of sugar cane. As you can see, I have a sugar cane patch here and it's growing tall and it's producing a lot of sugar cane. I planted that last February. And now I'm harvesting this sugar cane. I've already started a lot more sugar cane that's in the ground that's going to be ready next year. And sugar cane comes back year after year. You can grow sugar cane up to four years. Commercially, sugar cane is planted every year or every two years. So after one year of growth, I have nice stalks in here that I'm going to harvest. And let's share those tips with you. Tip number one, sugar cane likes tropical climate. It does not like weather that's too hot or too cold. So sugar cane will grow best in Florida, Hawaii, or tropical regions. However, you're not out of luck. I am in zone nine, I'm in zone nine A. So I'm growing sugar cane. We do get frost, so sugarcane is a little bit frost hardy. So if you get light frost, you can grow sugarcane in your region. So your sugarcane will grow best from zone eight to zone 10. Tip number two, you can start sugarcane in water. What you can do is get a sugarcane stalk, get a nice plump thick stalk with eyes on it. Cut it and put it in water while exposing the top part of sugarcane out of water. Otherwise, sugarcane will drown. I made a separate video on how to start sugarcane from sugarcane cuttings in water and you can get a head start on growing sugarcane. So if you live in a region where it gets colder, you can get a head start on growing sugarcane by starting sugarcane in water, indoors, and then plant sugarcane outside in April or May. Tip number three, the planting site. Sugarcane loves full sun. So choose an area that receives full sun to plant sugarcane. If you have a shady area, sugarcane will not grow as well. So you can see a nice patch of sugarcane back here because we get full sun in this region and sugarcane is doing extremely well. Tip number four, plant spacing and row spacing. When planting sugarcane, space your rows at least three to four feet apart. And when you're planting sugarcane stalks, plant sugarcane stalks at least two feet apart. That'll give it optimal space to grow bigger and produce a lot of sugarcane. Tip number five, watering. Sugarcane loves lots of water. Sugarcane likes to be moist all the time. So provide lots of water to sugarcane to grow lots of sugarcane. I've made a separate video on how often and how much to water your plant. So check that video out if you're interested. Tip number six, fertilization. Sugarcane likes lots of fertilizer. Sugarcane likes nitrogen and phosphorus. You can provide a lot of fertilizer to sugarcane and sugarcane just will eat it up. You can even provide direct chicken manure to sugarcane. It won't burn sugarcane. It'll just eat it up and it will grow very, very rigorous. So provide lots of fertilizer to sugarcane and don't worry about burning up your sugarcane. Tip number seven, patience. Sugarcane requires lots of patience to grow because it takes about 10 to 11 months to harvest sugarcane after you first plant your sugarcane. However, sugarcane does come back year after year. Like I said earlier, it's best to plant sugarcane every two years, but you can get your sugarcane patch growing up to four years. A note, if you're using direct chicken manure, do not use chicken manure towards the end of harvest season. So at the end of three to four months, do not use direct chicken manure. Only use valve composted fertilizer at that point. And last two months of growing, sugarcane does not need any more fertilizer. I started sugarcane cuttings in water last February, and they grew for about two months, and then I planted them in ground in April, and now, they're ready to harvest in January, all the way up till February. So they almost took 11 months to, to up to a year to grow sugar cane. Now these are very mature, they're full of sugar, there's lots of juice in them. So it's time to harvest the sugar cane and then juice this sugar cane. All right, let me get in there and get some nice stalks. Here's a nice one right here. Really nice stock of sugar cane. When you peel away the leaves, you can't just see the actual sugar cane underneath. So, if you live in a southern hemisphere, actually the seasons are reversed. So, you'll be planting anywhere around August and then harvesting in June or July. And sugar cane is really easy to grow. All right, let me harvest this stock right here. Well, check it out. Once you peel away, Wow, look at all of this beautiful sugar cane. 
All right, so I'm harvesting this sugar cane and I'm going to harvest the rest as well. And I'm cleaning this up. I'm just removing all of these dead leaves around this sugar cane stalk. Well, check out all of this harvest. I actually have a lot more sugar cane that I need to clean up, but I cleaned up these and this is probably about 40 to 50 pounds of sugar cane. I have about another 40 to 50 pounds. So we probably harvested about 100 pounds of sugar cane and now it's time to juice this sugar cane. A note, you can also add wood chips around your sugar cane plants as well. Wood chips helps to suppress weeds and also retains moisture. However, sugar cane grows so vigorously that it outcompetes the weeds. So if you keep your soil moist all the time, you really don't need to add wood chips. Wood chips will help certainly. However, sugar cane will grow so vigorously, it will fill in the whole area and it will outcompete the weeds. Now, some of the pests and diseases that affect sugar cane, some of the pests are grubs, sugarcane grubs, and sugarcane borers. And I actually don't experience any of that, so I don't really you know, worry about those. Those are kind of rare instances, or if you live in an area in the world where you have that problem, that's when you have to worry about it. Some of the diseases contain sugarcane mosaic virus and sugarcane smut, stuff like that. But I never really experienced that, so I don't worry about it. So if you're growing sugarcane in your backyard or if you're growing in a small area, you don't have to worry too much about pests and disease. Well, check out the harvest of all of the sugar cane. There's about 100 pounds of sugar cane in here. And I put it in the wheelbarrow and let's take it. All right, so I got these two nice stalks of sugar cane. I washed them up and I cut the ends. And I cut the ends on a slight angle here so it's easier to put it into the machine. And let me show you the machine as well. So here's the sugarcane juicing machine. It has this handle that you can turn, which turns these uh, wheels that squeeze the sugarcane and extracts the juice out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna feed the first cane in there and my uncle is going to turn it the other way around. There you go. I'm gonna put the sugarcane right in there. There you go. And I have a cashman tray to cast the juice down here. You know, the rollers are squeezing the sugar cane really well and extracting all the juice out of it. So we're going to run this twice into the sugar cane mill to extract the most sugar cane juice out of the out of these cans. All right. Okay. Hold on. Let's let me show you the the juice right here. There you go. <laughs> Look at this amazing juice out of the cane. All right. I'm going to strain this and add this to the pitcher and we're going to keep juicing more sugar cane. Okay so we juice the sugar cane and we're going to run it twice the second time into the machine and while we do so we're going to add some ginger and some lemon in there as well. All right so I'm going to add ginger right in between the sugar cane and also the lemon in there as well. And there you go. All right let's squeeze that in there. All right so we have extracted the juice of lemon and ginger in there too. So this is what's left of that lemon half. All the juice has been extracted. So this machine is really good for extracting lemon juice or orange juice as well and lots of other things too. Lily loves sugarcane as well. Lily, you want this sugarcane stock? You do? Lily! There you go. There you go. And she's gonna be juicing some as well. How's that sugar cane, Lily? You enjoying it? <laughs> so we got the whole pitcher of sugar cane juice just out of three stalks. That's how much juice in those in those sugar cane stalks. So let's try it out. I added some some salt in there. Added some ice. We already have some ginger and lemon in there. Oh man. This is absolutely delicious. It's really sweet, but with ginger and lemon, it brings out the really good flavor. And it's absolutely fabulous. We used to have this as, as kids in India, and farmers would actually be juicing sugar cane out, of, out on their fields to make raw sugar. And what you can do is you can actually condense this to make raw sugar. And what you just, we just used to just stop by and they will just give us a glass of juice and we'll just drink it. And it was absolutely amazing. And this brings those memories. So this juice is absolutely amazing. And we planted a whole patch of sugar cane. And next year, 
I'm planning to have a sugarcane festival where you can come and drink sugarcane juice right on our farm. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.